What's up, fellow Sharkbait? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Raft. And you guys are really, really digging this Let's Play, and that could not make me more happy. This is one of my, one of my like really, really fun survival games. I don't know if I could put it on the top, but I gotta tell you, I'm starting to think it might be one of the top survival games out there. Um, I'm just loving it, and like I didn't realize how much work they did to it. It's just kind of amazing, and you guys are having a great time watching it, and I'm having a great time making the videos so that's just a win-win situation for everyone involved why do i have a crappy wooden spear well you know what i think i'm gonna put it in here um today we are going to be putting down the engine and trying to figure out how that works i'm also doing some organizing we have to do some building uh so far this let's play has been go 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 all about progression but i would like to organize a little bit and i have been doing some organizing in here and i'll show you really quick um also this little pole coming down here is because of uh the the wheel the, it's not called a wheel. What the hell is it called? Um, that's a good question, man. That is a good question. The, I guess it is called the wheel. <laughs> the steering wheel. Um, also, guys, why does the wind keep changing? What a pain in the ass. So, when does... Ooh, an island. We need to get to that island, I think. So, when does the wind start changing? Because um, the wind has never changed, as far as I can tell, when I've been playing. I think the wind started changing maybe when I got the wheel. I don't know, but the wind is now changing directions, which is, you know, interesting, realistic, but also kind of annoying because it's kind of screwing me up here. Um, but that's okay. It should take us right to that island, which is great. The reason we need the island is because we need copper. All right, so we're just going to kind of steer. And that's good right there. We're going to open this bad boy up. Take us to the island. Take us to the promised land. All right. Um, yeah, so it's all going to be about the engine, uh, you know, but we're going to need some copper. I don't even know what I need copper for. I need copper for batteries. That's what I need copper for. You know what I just realized? The engine's probably going to take a battery. I didn't think about that. Anyway, first things first, I have been doing some organization. So I'm going to kind of bring that, bring you guys up to speed on that. I'm not going to spend a ton of time with inventory management, but I think sometimes um, it's pretty interesting. I, I know I enjoy watching how people organize their stuff. So right here is going to be all my tools and old stations that I don't use anymore. Right here is going to be, it's kind of a miscellaneous chest. Right now it's just heads, trophy heads, and blueprints. Uh, that one isn't organized yet, but it'll probably be for plastic and maybe something else i don't know um this is going to be for palm leaves rope and wood uh that's obviously still food that's not being used yet and there we go so all organized I'm gonna hit that hit up that island and um oh boy so i have been gathering a lot of stuff here man it's just been sick I freaking love it i need the wood more than anything honestly um so you know we don't need all this food on us although we don't have a lot of room for food in here either Let's go ahead and eat that. That could stack. And I'm, I'm cooking those. So I'm going to keep those. I'm going to put that away. I just took it out, but I'm going to put it back away. Where do I want to put leather? Hmm. Hmm. Leather is an interesting question. Also, is berries just to eat? Is that it? That's all they're good for? Or is there something else for them? Because uh, it just seems like... Nah. Not really anything I was really that interested in. Alright. So we're going to turn this way. And then we need to get to that island. So we're gonna go this way. This is gonna be so much easier when I have the uh, when I have the engine down. That's for damn sure. Yeah, I can't even use this thing because I don't need batteries because I don't have any copper. So it looks like we're heading towards that island. That is great. All right, I'm gonna continue organizing when we get to the island. I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna go down and get a bunch of copper. Any could be nothing you haven't seen yet. That's just a generic island. And then when I come back, we're gonna start thinking about where we want to what we want to do with the raft and where we want to put the um, the engines. Well, guys, unfortunately, with the way the wind changes direction, I actually missed that island. Um, and I think the reason I didn't get that island was strictly because I didn't have the engines. I think I think something happens in the game with the wind when you get the... I mean, I don't know. I, I might be talking on my ass here, but um, I feel like there's something that happens when you get the engine and the wheel that they want you to use them, you know? So they're going to make you use them and the other the old the old ways aren't going to work anymore. So I want these um, I want these engines right in the middle of my raft. I went ahead and counted. I put this down. It's twenty one. It's twenty one wide. That's right in the middle. And apparently, I put the I put the uh, anchor right in the middle too, because you know that's the way I operate. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna leave three spots in the uh, in the middle open, and we're gonna start building out this way, like so. Uh, so that's one, two, three. There we go. All right. All right. I also wanted to build my raft this way. But I don't think that's going to work. Basically, my idea was to have this like whole thing right in the very middle of the raft. And I was going to expand 
that way. Um, but I don't know. It, it doesn't seem to be the way things are things are working here. Although I, if this would be the middle of the raft. I could just expand this way, put it right there. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna do that. We're gonna leave that alone for now. It looks like a swimming pool. That's cool. Um, and we're just going to expand this way, like so. All right, and that's in the middle. There we go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expand the raft this way. This is like half of the raft, right? This will actually probably be. This raft is I think 15 deep. Um, I'm pr I'll probably cut off like some of this. Maybe I'll stop it here and I'll go that way. Th basically, the idea is I want this set of nets to be the middle of the raft. Actually, this set should be the middle as well. So we'd have to go that way. I could always move it. Oh, you know what? It'd probably be easier to just move the nets, right? I mean, I could simply pick them up and move them. So what I could do is I could continue building out this way the way I wanted to. And when I've got the raft situated in the, the dimensions it's going to be in, I could just move the move the uh move the nets that might be a good idea all right you know what in the interest of getting this going i'm just going to put this down now and we'll just see where things go um the thing is the thing is i can move anything on this raft right the only thing that on this raft that gets destroyed is the is the floor blocks right so like let's say if i wanted to move this over to here that over to there and i had to break out some floor blocks yeah i'll lose some floor blocks but that's not really um that big of a deal i'd really like to get to that spot hold on let's get let's see if we can get this thing down and get this thing working there we go. Now we want it protected. So what we're going to do is we're going to build out like this and like this. Now, the, the, I've seen the shark come underneath the raft and attack random blocks and stuff. So maybe this isn't 100% um, protected, but I don't know. I think it'll be okay. Do I not have any planks on me? Place planks. Oh, so how many... Does it not have an inventory or... Oh, okay. So we're going to go this way. All right. Is it on? I can't... I don't think it's on. Hold on. Let's... um. Let's steer, let's steer towards this island. Then we're going to turn that thing on and see if we can do it. I wish it had like a proper inventory instead of just putting planks in it. But you could also use biofuel, by the way. So there we go. And remove. Change direction. Activate engine. There we go. All right. Let's see how good this thing is. Okay. So we're going that way. We should be going that way, I guess. Heading right for the... And ready for that island, I hope. Is that good? Are we going that way? It doesn't look like it's going that way. I'm not really sure which way I'm going. Maybe it has to warm up. Oh, I should be going that way. <laughs> I can't tell. It, I, don't, I don't see the little... Tra oh, there's the trails. No. I don't see the little trails that show you which way you're going. Or maybe... It, they look like they're going this way. I can't really tell. And of course it's nighttime. All right, we're going to turn this off. We're going to anchor, and we're going to sleep through the night. No, don't change directions. Just turn it off. And we're going to sleep through the night. Now, oh, you know what? That might not be doing anything, because maybe I have too many plant. Maybe I have too many uh, foundations down. That thing's only good for 100 foundations. Although, I don't think I have 100 fa Well, maybe I do. <laughs> maybe I do. Let's put down a sec. Well, we can't make a second one. Does it take copper? I forget what it takes. Let's see what it takes. Ah, it takes a circuit. I don't have one. Yeah, I don't think that's going to move us because I think I've got more than 100. Uh, it says um, one engine per 100 foundations on your raft. All right, guys, this raft is 21 this way. So about, let's say about 20, 20, 40. No, that wouldn't be one. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. There's way more than 100 things on this raft. This thing is not going to work. Now, I can't make another one. I have no copper. And every time I find an island, the wind blows the opposite direction. Is the wind blowing the opposite direction um, from islands like a game thing? Like, is it always going to do that? Because uh, if it is, I, I don't know how I'm going to get copper, right? So I don't see any way for me to get copper. Um, I just got to kind of find an island and hope to God to get, you know, get one because I can't, I can't make a circuit board without it. Um, it's a bit of a bummer, man. Uh, it's really slowing me down. But what are you going to do? Them's the brakes. All right, let me see if I can find an island. All right, guys, it looks like the wind is working with me here for a change. So far, so good. I mean, I'm already close enough to this island. I might just swim over there anyway, um, even if, like, the wind does change at this point. But I think I'm going to hit it, which is great. We get some copper. I'll probably do some fishing, make some fishing uh, fishing bait, some uh, shark bait. And then uh, we'll be good to go. Maybe I'll make a bow and try and kill the shark with the bow because a lot of people said um, killing the shark with the bow is the way to go. <laughs> and it rhymes, don't you know? Eh, maybe. 
I'll think about it. It's not really my concern for this episode. I think it'd be easier to just do the shark bait, get the copper and GTFO. All righty. Yes. Okay, cool. So this is actually going to work out. Very nice. I was a little bit concerned there. I was like, oh man, they're going to like, they're going to do me like that. Like every time I go to an island, it's going to change. No, it's just, it was just bad luck. So what are you going to do? All right, guys, we got everything we needed from that island. We're just cooking up some copper here. And I'm also got some bricks down. Because I'm going to make another smelter, man. Because once you start getting these items, oof, it takes a lot of smelt stuff. Also, I didn't get as much copper from that island as I was hoping. But I got enough, so it's fine. It is just fine. Let's go ahead and make a circuit board. Nope, we need some vine goo for that. Just one piece, please. How do I do that? There we go. Hold down right click. There we go. And then we want to make ourselves another engine because we made a big raft. Ooh, five metal ingots, huh? All right. Well, I seem to have that. And now we need the rope. The rope should not be a problem. And there we go. Engine numeral uno. Or dos. Sorry. My Spanish is rusty. Uh, there we go. No, nope, that doesn't look good. Wait, can you not put this on the other side? Or how does this work? Let's see. So these things are a little weird. There we go. Yeah, these things are a little, a little funky. So it's going to be kind of backwards compared to the other one. But that's okay. It's gonna. Do we want them, do we want them facing the same way? If we want them facing the same way, this thing's going to have to be bigger. I don't think I care that much. I think I want the wheel to be on the same side, or facing the, each other. So I think that'll be cool. There we go. And if we don't like it, we can always pick it up. There we go. Oh yeah, that looks badass. Okay, now I wish these things were facing the proper way, the same way, but that is, that is just fine. That is just fine. Alright, so you need to put some wood in that thing. 16 pieces. Uh, oh, there's the gauge. Okay, I can see the gauge now. All right, because I wasn't sure. Wow, that took all 16 pieces. We need to figure out how to make biofuel. Um, so there we go. We got two engines, and that should work. Now we just need to uh, find something to aim for, because I can turn them on, but I don't really see the point in turning them on. I'll just make sure they work, I guess. Um, so that's going that way. I, it's cool they can go in opposite directions, too. You could use them to back up. All right, activate that engine, and activate that engine. Oh, so the see the wheels going faster is what tells you it's if it's working or not. See, my wheels were going too slow. So now I'm good for 200 foundations. I think we need to be able to make some kind of thing where we can tell exactly how many foundations we have on our raft. Because I'll be damned if I'm going to go counting them. All right, cool. I don't really see any need for that right now, though. I will be looking for another island. I'd like to get another full set of copper. Like, just freaking ba get the copper. You know what I mean? And how much did that little bit of thing... Yeah, I barely didn't take that much fuel. Gotta figure out how to make biofuel, huh? I'm sure you guys let me know in the comments. Beautiful. All right, so now let's grab this stuff and uh, let's go ahead and make another furnace. Or smelter. Damn it. I was like, oh, I'm going to call it by its proper name. Furnace. Yeah, not so much. Um, that. That. Make some more nails, please. Get some more planks. There we go. And another smelter. Beautiful. Now, I don't have a smelting room yet. I, I want to do building. I really want to do building. Um, but the thing is, I want progression more than anything. Because what, what normally happens with me in this game is I build, build, build. I never get any progression. I never get anywhere. And, I, you know, I don't think people like me not getting anywhere. You know what I mean? Um, so I think this time I'm going to go for progression a lot. And just, you know, we will do some building. Maybe even next episode. Not really sure. But uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, right now, we've got a raft that's going to catch a lot of stuff. Um, I mean, look at this, man. This is this is insane. Yeah. We've got a raft that's going to catch a lot of stuff. That is wonderful. I need to decide the dimensions of the raft and where things are going to go. Um, I need to decide where the middle is going to be. Um, yeah, I mean, we could probably decide. Where... Okay. So it's going to be 21 this way. And then it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, so it's going to be 21 by 15. Oh, there we go. We got an island. All right, so let's do this. Now it shouldn't matter which way the wind is blowing as much, at least. There we go, and there we go. All right, now let's head towards that island. Um, now We don't even need the sail anymore, huh? We're just going to go in the direction our engines are taking us. Oh, that is cool. All right. Okay. I'd like some kind of readout on the knots, how fast I'm going, you know, and all kinds of stuff. I'd, I'd like a readout on the, um, 
uh, uh, some way to read out. Maybe there is. I don't know. But I'd like some way to get a readout on the boat and the knots and everything like that. And, uh, yeah, we also need to make another battery. I should probably just do that right now. Yeah, uh, people tell me when the battery is done, it does not delete. It doesn't, like, go away. You just have a dead battery. So you can use the battery after it's, after it's done to make a headlamp, and it will have power. So that's really cool. All right, just put this in there. As long as it's not on, it won't be used. So it does not matter. Let's go ahead and grab some of this. And put this in here. You gotta make sure you fill up the other one before you drain from the one that's, you know, ready. Alright, there we go. Yep. There we go. Go right for that little island. Oh, this game. This game's legit, dude. You know, this is slowly climbing up on my best survival games of all time. Like, no joke. This might, this might break the top five at this point. I have not been loving... The updates for Imperion. I don't feel like Imperion's going in the direction I enjoy. So, and the forest is done. The, the forest, it's going to be hard to beat the forest. And you'll never beat Seven Days to Die, but it's going to be hard to beat the forest. Those are my top three, usually. Um, seven Days to Die, the forest, Imperion. Uh, after that, I don't know. I should probably write up a list. It'd be pretty cool. Alright, there we go. Drop that. Turn you off. Turn you off. And, okay, alright, so we're, we're gonna need wood. We're gonna need wood for that, that's for damn sure. And I don't have anything to do about old Sharky McSharkerson. Um, so I think what we're gonna do is, we're gonna grab our trusty fishing pole. You wanna use the, um, the crappy fishing pole for, uh, if you wanna, if you're going for fish for the shark bait, you wanna use the crappy fishing pole. And I'm hoping this doesn't take too long because, I don't know, I don't really wanna spend a lot of time fishing here. I kinda wanna get more copper. Maybe it should, maybe it should, maybe you could put down, like, fishing nets. Maybe, like, fishing nets connected to the bottom of your, you know... Because fishing is the one thing you can't do automatically, you know? And, like, fishing is... You could set up fishing to do automatically. You could set off, like... You know, you could set up lines and stuff that aren't connected... You know, that aren't connected to a fishing pole. You just set them up to the raft. You could do nets. There's lots of different ways you could fish automatically. That would be really nice. And, honestly, the fishing isn't so much about the food for me. It's 100% about the shark bait. Although, I do eat the fish. And they do come in quite handy, so... All right, so hopefully I have what I, I might have what I need already because I got a herring and I think I have another one in there of some kind. I'm going to make a bunch of fishing poles after this too. So I have them ready to go and I'll have to craft them all the time. There we go. And that should be good enough for one shark bait. You know, I feel like one shark bait is good enough for the entire, uh, for the entire island, once around the island. Um, I did once around the island uh, at the last island and um, one shark bait was plenty. So... All right, so we're not going to need this. Let's put that up there. And eh, I don't think we have to put too much stuff away because, you know, it's fine. And usually what I like to do is I like to go out there and scout out where I think copper might be. So I have my best opportunity to get it. I'm pretty sure copper is going to be along this side right here. But we can definitely come down here because the shark will attack, but we have ways to defend ourselves as long as we're prepared for the attack. There's copper right there. Yep, as long as we're ready for the attack. There you go. Might even be able to kill him. Oh, there he goes. Beautiful. Well, that's cool. I won't even have to use the shark bait. Now, he doesn't stay gone for that long, but it's okay. He'll, he'll be gone for long enough for me. I also have to make another set of, of uh, scuba gear because I don't have the scuba gear anymore. We're not going to do that this video, though. Because, um, well, we just killed the shark. If I, if I knew the scuba gear was so damaged, I would have, you know, made some more, but... That is okay. We'll be fine. Okay, there we go. Saw some iron over here. There it is. Metal. I keep calling it iron. It's called metal. Whatevs. It's iron. <laughs> it's iron. It's iron and copper, people. Come on now. Okay, not seeing anything else. I don't know if there's anything down there. Some people say there is. I might have to, like, go down there at some point. Maybe even, like... Um, just bring scuba gear down there and drop off everything else so in case I drowned. I don't believe there's anything down there, but, uh, I do see stuff. Well, I'm not gonna... I do see stuff down there, actually. Well, I don't see anything to loot. All I see is more land. So, I don't know, you know, what's up with that. Let me know, guys. Should I be diving down there? Okay, there's some right there. Got some copper to my right. I will get more sand for glass, but I probably won't get too much more clay. Do I need clay for anything else besides the um, the bricks and the smelter? 
I don't know. I will grab some more sand while I'm down here, though. I'm assuming I'm going to need glass for something. I don't think you need glass for too much in this game, though. All right, Tooth McGrin should be coming back any minute now. He doesn't stay gone for that long. Grab you as well. Okay, so we've already done a 360 almost around the entire thing. And we might have missed some copper or some iron, but if we did, we didn't miss a lot. So you see, I mean, it doesn't take that long to get all of it. You could do it in one shark bait. Honestly, if you do like a second, I wouldn't even do a second shark bait, to be honest. Like, I think, I think you, you'll probably get 90, 85 to 90 percent of all the resources you want to get in one shark bait, at least in my situation, because I'm not looking for a ton of different resources. I'm only looking for a certain, you know, few. Um, so for me, I can get it all, I can get it all, most of it in one shark bait. The idea to like use another shark bait for 15% of the resources is kind of, you know, not really ideal. Oh, oh man. Imagine if my own raft drowned in me. Oh God. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I should be looking for vine goo as well. I've not been looking for it. And I really should be. Although I haven't seen any of it. Usually it, it like usually I don't look for it, but then it pops up in front of me and I grab it. But I don't think I've seen any opportunities for it. Grab some more sand. Yeah, you kill Toothy McGrins. You're good. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna try and kill him with the bow next time. Underwater. Like people said the bow underwater is just phenomenal with Toothy McGrins, so we'll see. Uh does anybody know how many arrows it takes to kill him though? With regular stone arrows? And when do I get metal arrows? Like, shouldn't I be able to make metal arrows by now? I feel like I should. Alright, it looks like this place is pretty much picked clean for the most part. I'm sure I've missed some things here and there, but that's okay. Gotta be okay with that. Or you'll, you'll never leave. Should I go on the island? I don't, I don't usually go on the island anymore. I mean, it's just... I mean, I don't know. I guess it's some easy wood. And I'm gonna need some. Who here played this game back in the day where the islands were unreachable and you had to build, like, walking planks to get up to them? That wasn't too long ago. It really wasn't. There we go. Plan ah, damn it. Alright, I guess we're full. Well, I could still get more wood. Is there anything I could throw away? Um, not really anything. Oh, you know what? I could eat this. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to try that. Probably get fall damage and get myself killed. Man, I gotta find some llamas. What is this? Oh, healing solve. Oh, I need an egg. How do I get eggs? I like I keep um looting the uh, nest over there, but he hasn't laid any eggs yet, so I don't know how to get eggs. Um, I need to find some wool. I think you get that from llamas, you guys said. And here's how you make the metal arrows. It's simply just a feather, and I have feathers. So where did I put the feathers? I don't remember. Nope, not in there. Not in there. There they are. Alright, so let's go ahead and put some feathers in there. Let's get some metal arrows, man. That's freaking sweet. Hell yeah. Research. Wait, I still can't learn the metal arrow? There they are. Okay. Beautiful. Now I can make metal arrows. How expensive are they? Wow, a metal ingot? Oof. Alright, well that's going to mean we need a lot of metal. Uh, pointy, lightweight, and well-balanced. So, how many metal arrows does it take to kill Tooth and McGrins? That's what I need to know next. Right, let's put that stuff up there. Let's go ahead and make some vine goo. Uh, before I forget, I think I'm going to go ahead and make a full set of scuba stuff. We need the oxygen bottle, so we're going to need a bottle. Rope, vine goo. Rope will not be a problem. Um, the bottle is right here. Ah, we're going to need the vine goo. Told you we need a lot of vine goo. There we go. Oh, we're gonna need more vine goo. Whew. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. We need more for that. We're gonna need more for oh my god, do we need a lot? We need six seaweed? Oh man. Ooh, there's gonna be a lot of a lot of freaking stuff we're gonna need there. Uh you know what? Why don't we leave this up here? And we'll grab wood from down here. And then we'll continue filling these up. All right, man. Well, the raft is, is... Oh, we got a big island. All right. I think I know what we're doing next episode. Hold on. Let's get over there before we uh, call this one. Ugh, timer. You can go straight to hell. All right. So let's aim towards that big island. Which we kind of already were anyway. 
And there we go. A little bit more. There we go. I wish that thing would kind of snap back into place. I wish there was a button you could press to have that like go directly, you know, up. So you don't have to guess. All right, cool. Do I even care where the wind's blowing anymore? I'll leave the thing up there. Why not? All right, so it looks like we're going a little bit to the left here. So let's let's kind of aim this way a little bit. There we go. Okay. And then we'll feed some more wood into these bad boys. We should probably put them in evenly because we need both of them. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there! Okay, come on, come on, come on. Hopefully this will have some llamas on it. I have no idea how the game decides what kind of islands you're going to or not. Like, I, I have no clue. See right there. So the green dots and the blue dots. What are the blue dots? Isn't the blue dot, like, the thing that that is activated on, or... I don't know. Alright, looks like we're coming in hot. We good? Yeah, we're coming in real nice. Alright, lower the anchor! Alright, well, guys, we have another island to explore. Again, I have no idea if this is going to be like the other island, if it's going to have different stuff on it. I have no clue. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you haven't joined the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Mm -hmm.